Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Today I'm coming to share with you my experiment. Uh, I'm working on Australian theme journal and I found that I'm missing solid pattern, solid uh, solid color, blue color for uh, my pages. And uh, I decided that I can print it out and used, use it as a print or I can color it myself and <laughs> I want to try uh, how different it will look. So here two printed sheets with the blue color. It's laser print so it will be stable once I will use tea to dye it to, to do vintage vintage look and I do have here the same Grammage 80 GSM printer paper and on these I would like to try different ways of coloring with ink pads. I do have here these three ink pads. This I haven't used maybe for five years. It's still inky but I'm not using it. I'm not sure why I'm not using it but I'm not using it. This one it's probably four years old as well. It does have some ink and it's kind of like oily ink this one and I do have here distress ink from Ranger uh, fatted jeans and it's um, like not too much color in there. I will need new one so I decided to use this one few different ways. So first I'm gonna wipe this as you can see and I'm pressing quite hardly. I'm gonna wipe that color on my paper And I should write somewhere what I did on these papers, right? And maybe I will remember that. I think I'm going to write it down somewhere. So, fatted jeans wiped on the paper. I made a small note for myself. I think I will remember these two were printed. I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna try this Versa color exactly the same way. I'm gonna just wipe it on. Yeah, it does have some color still. Oh, maybe if I will, you know, press hard, hard enough so it will make some coloring. Okay, that's a Versa color. And I do have here this one. This looks like uh, a little bit oily ink. I'm not sure because here it's from China. Here is not any kind of label so I can read it. What is it in there? And it does have some ink. But as you can see, it's kind of not too much. It's here and there. And when I want to stamp with that, I, I really have to try a lot to put a kind of nice amount all around. So that's this one. I do have here my tea, uh, very strong tea uh, spa, and I do have here empty tray where I will soak the ink pads and I will try a few different ways. So first I'm gonna get up these colored papers and let them soak the tea and I will see if they will react. This one is that uh, pure palette ink pad and it doesn't seem to be reacting with tea at all. It's kind of waterproof ink pad. See that I didn't know. <laughs> and I do have already my uh, oven preheated so I'm gonna be drying my papers with 120 degrees slow drying or the middle middle slow 
middle speed. I'm gonna add on the top, because this is not reacting with water, I'm gonna add on the top the other one, that Versa color, and we'll see if that will react with water, oh, with, yeah, with water and tea. And then I will dry these two papers, all, all my papers, I will dry in the oven today. So I'm gonna let it soak, the tea, and I can place my papers to dry in the oven. I have placed to the tea also those printed sheets, and I'm gonna now swap them with the papers I do have in my oven. We can have a look, I think they are dry already. Oh, look at that, it got ripped off. Interesting. How about that? Yeah, but the colors, eh, come on, let it go. The colors are the way I place them on those sheets. So they don't react with water at all. I'm gonna place there now printed printed sheets. And now the last paper, and this is paper where I used Tim Holtz uh, Distress Ink Fudded Jeans, and this should react with water, so it may well disappear. gonna let it soak a little bit. I'm gonna open my oven and place the, this sheet on these two printed ones. Oh, look at that! It's kind of melting my print. Not surprising. And here you can see that most of the ink disappeared. And now my testing. I do have here hot water and these are ink pads which didn't react with water. Oh, look at that. Okay, this one. It's reacting with hot water. They do, re oh my, they do react both. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't expect that. But probably because it's hot water, it's melting even that oily thingy. So I'm gonna get my spa gonna be careful here and I'm gonna put there one sheet of paper and let it soak that color it's very hot so I have to be careful to not get burn my fingers I'm oh, sorry I think this soaked quite a lot. I placed one of, uh, clear sheet, white sheet, to the tea as well. I'm gonna let them uh, dry in the oven. And I drop a little bit of that <laughs> blue color on my tea dye paper, so it will be interesting. And they are overlaying each other. So I'm, I'm, I'm very wondering how that will look like. And here is also a result of my drying the uh, Distress Ink Pad wiped on clear paper and then tea dyed and these are prints that's kind of like what I expected because it's laser print so it doesn't move it doesn't change too much it's like just getting darker with that tea and I just want to show you what I noticed there is again the paper ripped apart that's so strange because it's normally doesn't happen that the paper get ripped like this. But I used that Versa ink and it got ripped before as well. Here on this sheet it got ripped off when I used that Versa ink. Versa ink but that small one, this small one. So it maybe has something inside. So as you can see, <laughs> it got ripped off in the middle of the paper and over there and I know I'm pretty sure that I didn't rip it off when I placed the papers on the tray and here it's how it looks like <laughs> oh that's so cool I like that so I'm gonna place this tea dyed paper again to the water to this colorful spa 
and I will see how this will go. And let it dry in the oven. And before I will try, but I know this will react with water totally. Uh, before I will try to do coloring with that distress ink pad, I'm gonna take this color and pour it to my tea and tea dye some papers using that mix. So this is how my mixed of tea and color looks like. I'm gonna grab some clear papers. And dig them in. Well, it's like more, it's like greener. Yeah, it's totally losing the bluish. So I will have green papers. Good. So to make blue papers, but also tea dyed, I will have to have a look on that paper which is now in the oven, which was tea dyed first and then put that to that blue blue color and I do have there nicely tea dyed with blue blue color I hope you can see that it does have blue tones it doesn't have green tones which I think this one will have so if you wanna have a blue colored tea dyed paper I will suggest first tea dye it, dry it and then place it to some blue spa and dry it again. And now for those who want to see, I want to see how Tim Holtz nearly dry ink pad will react with, oh yeah, nice. See, there is not too much color anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this soak in my water. For longer time and it's still kind of hot water so I'm gonna flip it over and my make my fudded jeans spa and this is paper which I uh, tea dyed in that mix blue and tea and it does have kind of like greenery here and there but not too much uh, I place there more papers, so I'm, I'm letting them soak quite well. They will be sitting there maybe for five minutes. Then I will let them dry and I will see. So now, small recapitulation. This is when I just wiped uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink over the clear paper. Then I let it uh, soak tea and then let it dry. This is how it looks now. This one is when I uh, mixed the blue water with the tea and uh, it looks like this. Uh, it, it does have green uh, green shade. I'm not sure if my camera is taking the, that beautiful color. This will be perfect for forest journal, for any kind of, you know, nature style journal. This will be amazing. The paper has beautiful uh, tea dyed color and also that greenery in there that's perfect this one it's the paper which I tea dyed first this is when I uh, make those splatters from the that um, you know that next sheet and it kind of took those colors really beautifully so you can make it the way that you will tea dye the paper, then place the paper paper on the tray and splat the blue color over it, and it will work like magic. Because look at that color; it's really gorgeous. And this is when I soak it again in that blue color, and it does take the blue color really nicely. This one, <laughs> it's so weird that it's got tear off like this. Look at that! <laughs> I never saw that before. I'm not sure what is in that ink. <laughs> that ink makes my papers get torn. <laughs> so this is uh, just soaking the paper in that blue color. This is where it was overlapping my tea dyed paper. So it took a little bit of that tea as well. 
and these sheets where I wiped. This is Versacolor. <laughs> Very strange. Versacolor doesn't react with the tea. This is that uh, from China, that ink pad, which I wiped on clear paper and doesn't react with tea. And these are my laser prints. They are all the time this way, like same. They don't soak, they don't uh, vanish or so. So this is my <laughs> experimenting with the coloring. I'm gonna continue with my mix and do a few more of these greenery pages. Maybe I will do some nature style journal. I will see. Thank you so, so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me with this experimenting. <laughs> I hope you, you will remember that uh, this experimenting when you will find some some ink pads dry. So do not throw them to the bin before you will really empty them from the colors. Maybe this will be good for your journals. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.